Hey guys, uh, Lou's retired and he's doing more comics. So we have another CGC submission. If you want to see it, stay tuned. Okay, so uh, we have another CGC submission. This was also brought to New York Comic Con on um, October 9th. And it was back in my hands, November 7th. This was Fast Tracked um, Economy. Great books, for the most part. Key issues. And... Um, We'll get right into it. Before we do that, though, uh, this channel is not just going to be about comics. So next week, and by next week I mean the week after this airs, because this is not going to air for a couple of days, we're going to be doing some cooking. That's right. You, comic aficionado, is going to be doing some cooking with me. What are we making? Hulkamole. That's going to be our first dish, and um, I hope you're there for that. We're going to have a lot of fun. And with Thanksgiving coming up, you might want to throw this into your cooking repertoire. It's up to you, but I hope you join us. All right, uh, let's get started. First, some information. Um, I know the grades of a few of these, not all of them. I did press these myself, which is not saying much. Okay, um, the declared value of this box is 4400 Declared meaning that if they get lost or damaged in the mail... That's the highest insurance that they'll pay, right? Okay, so let's do the first one. Now, I know the last video, I held it very, very close. I'm not going to hold it so close this time. Um, let's go. Let's see, first one. So, first one we have is X-Men number six. This is, uh, I guess, the first time Namor, or Namor, as for some reason the name was changed, uh, with the new, new movie coming out. Uh, this suffered again from the same issue a lot of my other books suffered from. If you look up top over here, this was one of the books that was tucked into a manila folder or manila envelope. And over the years, the glue just adhered to the book because the flap was tucked in. I bought X-Men number 1 through 60. Every one of them had this problem. So I had to go through the the, the arduous task of removing them with something called undo. Um, I'll put a link for the undo in the description so you can pick it up if you have a similar problem to this. It also takes off price stickers, things like that. Very, very easy to use. But it did take a toll on these books. So let's see what this one is. Um, if we look at the, well, I'm going to look at the back. We'll look at the back in a second. Uh, again, these are all going to be low to mid grade. I don't expect any high, high numbers on these. Okay, two, two five. Okay, two point five. That's okay. These are all PC books. I don't really mind. Um, let's see if the back had damage. Oh, again. Ugh, look up top here. So I started pressing my own books. If you look right here, see that rippling there? Okay, so that's something I did. That didn't come with the book. Uh, the way to get around that, from what I found. And I, I missed this. So when I put this in, I, I pressed it, looked great, and then this must have happened. I didn't notice. Um, double board your buffer. Spray it down a little bit of water or just humidify the whole thing again and press it again. It should come out. But 2.5, that's okay. It's okay. With um, Namora coming out, I'm happy with any early name or books. Okay, there's another one. Here we go. All right, X-Men number 9. This is, the I think, the first meeting of Avengers and X-Men. Okay, and great. Same problem on the back. Let's see the grade. 4.5. Okay. And you can see that same problem down there. Even worse. That's okay. I mean, 4.5, honestly, for this. I thought it was a... I did press it. Took out all the little bumps and stuff, but I guess it could have been better, right? All right, let's keep going. Oh, this is a uh, one I had. This is Wow Comics number thirty-one. Nothing key about this issue per se. I just love the cover, except for this huge coffee cup stain right there, which I'm sure they caught. Uh, some rippling on this, but not as bad. Oh boy! All right, let's see the grade. Four point five. Okay, that's all right. It's a black cover. So not too bad. All right. I just I Mary Marvel. Come on. 
if any of you guys are pressing and um, if you have one source for your pressing questions, let me know. I've been really getting a lot of an questions answered on Facebook through Captain Mike, I believe. Captain Mike Pressing. Uh, you might want to check them out. Uh, they really help me out a lot. Okay. Oh, I like this book. This is X-Men number two. And again, look at the top. See, I had to go through the, um, had to remove the flap. But it wasn't, this wasn't too bad, this one. All right. Uh, no rippling. Thank goodness. Uh, clean this as best I could. Let's see what we got. 3.0. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Nice looking book. I think people sleep on X-Men too. It's the second appearance of the X-Men. It's a really great book. Much uh, more affordable than X-Men 1, obviously. All right, let's see what we got here. By the way, there are 25 books in this submission. I'm also getting a pre-screen coming in. Epic fail on the pre-screen. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, okay. I sent in Quick Draw McGraw number one. It looked great to me. So I'm expecting a high grade on this. I was hoping for at least a nine. Um, although I did notice some staining dots of some kind there, but it looks looked pretty good. I just want to get this nice bright yellow cover in plastic. Let's see. Ah, seven five. All right, I'll check the notes on that. It could be this over here, but I don't know. Can you, you can't see it. It's like a, a like a blackness going down. Looks like printer's ink though. Screwed. I still like it. It's cool. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Um, I sent this, and this is World's Finest 282. Sorry, 173. <clears throat> this is now touted as the first appearance of Two Face in the Silver Age. It's not. It's just Batman is dressed up as Two Face, and uh, 284. Batman 284 is still the predominant uh, first Silver Age appearance of Two-Face. Uh, I pressed it. looked like it came out okay. Uh, looks all right. Let's see. Five. No, I expected higher on that. Yeah, predates Batman 234. 234, sorry. Um, all right. It's still a cool cover, right? I will not be selling these on my Whatnot auctions, not right away anyway. Um, on Whatnot, I'm known as Lou at Country Club Comics, country underscore club underscore comics. Um, we have auctions every Saturday. This Saturday, by the way, is a big Star Wars show with Star Wars Hallmark ornaments predominantly, and then we have comics and toys and Funkos and things like that. You might want to tune into that. And then the following Sunday, we have an amazing stocking stuffer sale. Get ready for Christmas. $5, $4, $6, you know, but cool items from Friends, The Office, Batman, Superman, uh, just all cool stuff. So you might want to tune in for that. Plus, if you sign up for it, you get $10 off your first purchase. doesn't have to be from me, you can, from any vendor, and there's a lot of cool vendors on that site, so you might want to check it out. I'll put a link below. Oh, okay, this is Tomb of Dracula. This better be freaking high. Tomb of Dracula number 13, second appearance of Blade. Can't see the notes. Let me see. Origin of Blade. Origin of Blade. Okay. Uh, nice looking book. Let's see how it went. How it goes. Nine. All right. I'll take the nine. That's cool. It's a really good book. Nice. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay. So let's see what we got next. We have Weird Mysteries number 12. Really cool cover. I guess he didn't want his darling to go away. That's kind of eerie. Um, this one, again, I, I, the ripples from the pressing. I'm such a terrible presser. I better learn my craft very soon. Let's see what the grade is. I just saw the grade. All right, 4.5. I think when it gets to this, you know, this midpoint, this low to mid grade, I'm not sure that. Maybe I'll show you something like this can make a huge difference but maybe it does I mean, I'm sure it, in some fashion it does I can see it there all right so 4.5 on that some golden age horror was that silver age I'm not even sure oh tomb of Dracula number one okay good
good. No rippling. Woo. Um, solid book. I don't know. I mean, big book, right? We don't know if Dracula is coming to the movies or hopefully in some fashion, maybe on Disney Plus. Let's see what we got here. Seven five. Okay, cool. That's that's nice. Nice solid book there. And I'll do the values at the end, and then I'll add them up and see what they are compared to the the declared value. See if I did okay. Let's see. All right, man thing. Man thing. All right, I already had this in the. Uh, actually, no. Did did Will Finite come out already? No, it hadn't come out. It was coming out. Oh, it came out that weekend when I submitted this. So getting it back like this. Again, I'm keeping this. I'm not selling it. So I'm not worried about capitalizing on the popularity. But let's see. And man thing number one, 8.5. Nice. Okay. That's cool. Nice book. All right. Here we go. Iron Man 54. I love this. This is a great cover. One of those great battle covers. Namer and Submariner. Uh, looks pretty good. 7.5. Come on, really? Uh, okay, I can see all the dings over here on this side. I guess they didn't come out with the press. No big deal. And if you haven't heard me, I've said it like 15 times, these are PC books. I'm keeping these for the most part. All right. Oh, we have an X-Men. X-Men number 12. This is the first Juggernaut. And let's see. Again, the Rippling. Jeez, what did I do? Maybe I learned how to fix it after I actually put them aside. I don't know. Who knows? Let's see what we got. Four or five. Still, that's not a bad grade for this, right? It's a key book, key issue. Not bad. I'm wondering if that book that CGC just put out actually has a section um, on rippling and something else called canvassing, which we'll talk about in a future video. All right, Strange Tales number 159. This is the first, what's her name again? Um, oh boy, hold on a minute. First appearance of Val. They just call it Val. They don't bother with the whole long name. I don't blame them. Uh, looks like a pretty good book. Again, another 7.5. Um, no issues back here. And X-Men number 56. Okay. Oh, press looks pretty good. Let's see. 6.0. 6.0. I'm going to read all the notes on these. I mean, I'm not going to bore you with the notes at this point, but... Oh, you know what? Also, this this is a pretty good survivor from that Manila folder debacle, but all over here it's it's like a um, top of the like the, the glossy part of the cover was pulled, so maybe that's what brought it down. Okay, I'm trying not I'm trying to look blindly at the grades. There's just one that I know the grade. That's the Superman coming up. Um, X-Men 50, nice one. This is the second Polaris, I believe. Oh, you saw it, 6.5. Uh, outstanding Jim Steranko cover. This really is. I mean, people say it, but it's true. It's a great cover. Great cover. Okay. Let's do the one that I know. It's, it's got a thicker slab. That, that's it. Okay. This is the one I know. This is Superman, number 27. And I was curious about this because of this large chunk of the cover that's out. Otherwise, it was in pretty good shape. I did press it. No ripples. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. It's a 3.5. Yep, I got to saw that. So pretty cool. And it's a nice looking book. The only thing about this is, it doesn't look like it's off quite a bit. Right? Like I know the top was cut wrong from the print, from the publisher. But if you follow this right here, it looks like it's off terribly. But over here, it looks like it's straight as an arrow. So I don't know. I don't know what that is. I mean, I don't think it was trimmed. And if it was trimmed, they certainly didn't catch it. So it's fine. Got a few more. No, the X-Men, X-Men number 14. This is the first Sentinels, I believe. Yeah, 
first appearance of the Sentinels. Um, again, one of those books that no rippling, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, one of those books that was stuck with the Manila folder. Four or five. Okay, these seem to be here. That's the strange thing. Some of these had rippling. These are basically all the same condition. Some had rippling. Some didn't. Same grade. So I wonder, maybe it doesn't make that much of a difference. Come on. X-Men 35. Love this book. One of my first comic books as a child. I wasn't around when this came. I mean, I was around when this came out, but it, this was purchased for me, uh, given to me by a friend of my father. I remember this. Great book. Spider-Man appearance. Um, looks good. You know, mid-grade. Perfect. 5 -0. That works for me. I know people are obsessed with getting the highest grade. I, I These are my personal books, so I don't care. Not so much. I mean, you always want higher grades, but... Okay, what we got? <laughs> this one I just got graded for myself. I, you know, I love these old Archie books. This is Sabrina number one. Nothing really great. It's just her own, you know, her first series. Um, I don't expect this to be high. There's wrinkling all over the place. Um, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. But I love those. All right, here we go. Another one. Oh, Iron Man and Submariner number one. It's too bad that we'll never see these two together in the movie. You know, I'm not even sure if, did they even team up in this story? I'm not even sure. Um, I have a few of these, but um, dress looks good. Spine looks good. That's 6 0. Okay. All right, general wear. This was. Actually, I, I this should have been a little bit higher. Just my opinion. But it's okay. Let's do one more. Uh, this is Marvel Spotlight 4. This is the first appearance of the Darkhold. Uh, this was a big book. Uh, I picked this up at a flea market for about $10. Thought it was in great shape. Gave it a press. But it does have a water stain right there, which is going to bring it down. Let's see. 6.5. I think without that water stain, this may have hit a 7.5 or even an 8. How many do we have? A couple left. Okay. This is... Marvel Spotlight number one. Um, I always thought this there was nothing special about this book. I mean, who cares about Red Wolf? I don't know anything about Red Wolf. Um, but apparently it's picking up some steam. So I guess I have to do a little bit of research. But number one, and I have another one of these too. Let's see. 8.5. Nice. Ooh, that's, that's really good. Okay. Let me see if I can get the other one. Because I think the other one was not as sharp as this one let's see I mean it still looks good it looks really good I'm just building myself up six okay no not as good all right let's see what else we got here oh we got another one. Ooh, ooh, nice um horror book this is weird terror number 13 getting these great covers jeez Ten cent book, three point five. That's fine with me. I'm good. And I think, nope, we have one more. Hold on. I'm not gonna look at it. Okay. Oh, Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen. Um, this. I have a problem with this book because I did something. I'm going to discuss it in another video. I'm going to use this as an example so you don't make the same mistake. But I did something in the press that really damaged the um, the, the overall grade, I'm sure. Let's see, 4-0. Yeah, this is the first Dark Side cameo. Yeah, I don't know if you could see it. Can you see the texture of the book? I don't think you can. But CGC certainly can. So that's it. Okay, so I'm going to take a break. For you, it'll be a second. I'm going to add these up, get the fair market values, 
and then I'll come back and tell you um, if we beat the declared value. Declared value of these was 4,400. Think about it. What's your ballpark? What do you think? Higher, lower? We'll see. Be back in a sec. Okay, so um, we added everything up. Fair market values, I'm kind of in shock because my declared value was 4,400. Um, the actual value came to $8,494. Uh, some of these were hard to find. I had to do a little bit of research in the last sales and stuff like that. But um, And some were real disappointments. Marvel Spotlight 1 in 6 is a $30 book. So I lost money there. A couple of others I broke even on the grading. Um, but all in all, it was I'm happy with it. It was a good submission. And I changed my mind about the bags that CGC is now putting their slabs in. I think they're really good. CGC is getting a lot of flack recently, but... To be honest, all the problems with my books were my problem. It wasn't theirs. So they're, you know, I think they're doing a pretty good job at this point. Um, again, I got these back in less than a month, Fast Track Economy. Can't complain. Um, okay, that's it for this video. So remember, look for other videos. Uh, subscribe if you want, you know, if you like this kind of stuff. And um, Hokamoli's coming. Tune in. You're going to learn how to make some really good guacamole from an Italian, no less. Um, and then, uh, what do we got? Two sales coming up this Saturday on Whatnot. Uh, we have uh, the Star Wars sale at 4 o'clock. And then we also have, um, right before that at 1 o'clock, we have a 25-book DC sale. So it's 25 books, mostly for the new 52. Near mint condition, $125 value, $40 starting bid. We're going to have 20 of those. And then maybe some pulls and fun stuff like that. So that's a bargain. All right. So if you get the chance, tune in and um, hopefully see you then. Remember, country underscore club underscore comics. Until then, lose retired. Don't wait till you're retired to start living. All right. Trust me on that. Okay, guys. Listen, have a great week. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.